Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Python development environment on your Visual Studio Code editor. So I'm going to go step by step. First of all, I'm going to show you how you can uh, install Python and then I'm going to show you how you can install Visual Studio Code and then I'm going to show you how you can set up uh, Python on Visual Studio Code. So if you already have uh, Visual Studio Code or Python, you can skip these installation steps and directly go to the you know integration step so for installing python you just need to search for python and the first link which will appear here will be from python.org i'm going to click on that link and i will scroll down a little here i can see the download section and the version i want to download here is 3.6.4 which is the latest version so i'm going to click on that and we are going to go to on the download page so inside the download page i'm going to scroll down a little and here we can see different uh, file formats for installing python on our windows operating system so what i'm going to choose is this one which is the executable installer which is uh, really easy to install so just choose uh, the version windows x86 64 executable installer right and now uh, once this uh, executable file is downloaded we are going to just install it like a normal executable file so now this executable file is downloaded so i'm going to click on this executable file let me just minimize the browser so now the python installation wizard has been started and you can see this is the default location where python will be installed and in order to add python uh, path to your environment variable you just need to check this option which says add python 3.62 paths now i would like to uh, install python in a different path because this is a little bit confusing path for me so this will be installed in my app data local programs python and then python 3.6 right so I would just want to change the location. So I will just select the customize installation for me. But most of the people uh, prefers default location and that's okay for them also. Okay. And here I will uh, just uh, leave everything as default and click next here. And this is what I wanted to change. So I just wanted to install Python in my C directory. So I will just remove everything from here. And then I wanted to install uh, this Python in my uh, C directory and then Python. I want to make this uh, directory Python. So I want to make this uh, directory Python and inside this uh, directory, I want to install uh, the Python, right? So C and I'm going to just create a new directory here or new folder here with the name Python. And then I'm, I will press uh, enter so this uh, directory is created and then inside my python uh, directory this directory will be created right so i will just click install after stating my uh, installation path and then just say yes it's going to start the installation for python 3.6 right so now I can see this message which says setup was successful. That means Python is installed successfully on my system. So I'm going to just click close and I'm going to go to my start menu. And here I will just click on all apps. And in all apps, I can see uh, this Python idle IDE is uh, installed and then Python uh, 3.6 module docs are installed and then Python uh, 3.6 manual is installed and you can see uh, Python 3.6 uh, command line is also installed, right? So what I will do is I will uh, just click on this option which is Python 3.6 64-bit and you can see uh, Python, uh, you know, terminal is started, right? So I can uh, just write print uh, hello world and then press enter which is going to print uh, hello world for me one thing i want to do is i want to set my environment variable for python so i will go inside my python directory and inside my python directory i will go inside my python 3.6 directory and then i will uh, just uh, copy this path and then once again right click on the start menu 
and then uh, I will uh, just go to system here and once the system uh, uh, settings uh, opens I will uh, just go to advanced system settings and in the advanced system setting environment variables and here I'm going to add this environment variable to path so I will just select uh, path system variable and I will say edit and then I will say new and then paste this path which I have copied which is C backslash Python backslash Python 36 and then press enter click OK OK and then click OK which is going to uh, set my Python uh, path in the environment variables right I want to open uh, the command prompt and uh, just uh, validate if uh, Python is set successfully so I'm going to just open the command prompt and here I will just write uh, Python here and then press enter and you can see Python 3.6.4 version is installed and I can see the Python uh, command line here okay so once everything is set we are ready to install Visual Studio Code so the second thing we are going to install Visual Studio Code so just search for Visual Studio Code and hopefully the first link which will appear here will be from code.visualstudio.com uh, so I'm going to click on this link so you can see uh, you will see this option which says download win for windows and once you click on this uh, button uh, alongside this download for windows uh, button you will see C windows 64 uh, bit option and i want to install the installer so just uh, press the button just in front of installer which is going to download the installer which is visual studio code installer for you which is a executable file so now the visual studio code exe is downloaded on my system so i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to minimize the browser which is going to start the installer uh, i will first of all say yes and then this is going to start the visual studio code installer i will just say next and agree the terms and condition and then click next and this will be the default location i don't want to change it so click next and then click next and then once again click click next if you want to create the desktop icon you can check on this option and i'm going to click next and then click install which is going to start installing the visual studio code it's really a straightforward process so you don't have to worry about it so now visual studio code is installed on my windows operating system so i will just leave this checkbox checked which is going to launch the visual studio code and i'm going to cl click finish which is going to start visual studio code on my windows 10 operating system and now you can see visual studio code has been started on my windows uh, 10 operating system and if you are not familiar with uh, visual studio code here is uh, where you will uh, edit your file so when you click on uh, this option you will be able to open uh, any folder of your choice or you can create a new folder this is the search option so if you want to search inside a folder some files or some uh, words you can search using this search option this is for git integration the third option is for git integration or source code uh, integration for example uh, version controlling and uh, other things right fourth option is for debugging which we are going to use for python then the last option is for installing the extensions right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this extension option option which is the last option so click on this uh, last option and here search for python okay so search for python most probably the first result which will appear here will be a python option and you can see around 6 million downloads of this python extension has been done till now so this is from microsoft so with this is the official python extension from microsoft so we are going to install this so just click on this install option which is going to install this extension on your visual studio code and once this uh, extension is installed on your visual studio code editor you need to reload your uh, visual studio code so you can see this option which says reload so just click on the that option and then it's going to reload your visual studio code so now visual studio code is reloaded and now this python extension is installed on our system so now let's create a python folder on our desktop let's say 
and then uh, we are going to open this folder so I'm going to create a Python folder on my desktop Python right and then I'm going to open this folder using this open folder option and I want to navigate to desktop and then Python and then select folder so this folder will be opened in my Visual Studio Code editor okay so once this opens we are going to just create a new uh, Python file so I'm going to just click on this option which says new file or you can right click and then say new file here and then I'm going to just say hello.py which is the extension for Python right which is going to tell Visual Studio Code that it's a Python file and now I'm going to just say uh, print and then uh, inside the parenthesis I'm going to just write hello world and then I'm going to save my Python file and it says uh, linter py lint is not installed so this is also an extension which you can install from here so when you search for py lint you will be able to install a py lint extension but for now I won't, don't want to in, uh, install it so I will see this warning for now but later I will install it for sure right so I will just close this uh, option and I will save my Python file and now to run my file what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this uh, debug section so just click on this debug section and here you just need to click on this green button you can notice here that there is no configuration right now so I will just click on this start debugging uh, button and now when I click on this option it will just show me uh, this warning I will say allow access and now it says fail to launch the Python process please validate the path Python okay so I will just open the launch dot uh, JSON file so just click on this option which says open launch dot JSON which is going to open the launch dot dot JSON file now if you don't know where this uh, file is located on your uh, folder you can just go here click on here and then go inside your dot vs code uh, folder okay so inside your dot vs code folder you will be able to see launch launch dot json file so you can see uh, the name of the configuration is python and then uh, stop on entry this is the debug option and then this is the python path right so this python path we can set in the settings uh, dot json right so you can when you hover over this it says defaults to value in settings dot json right so what we are going to do is we are going to just go to the settings dot json which is the setting file for visual studio code so i'm going to go to files and then preferences and then uh, just click on settings now this is going to open the settings for you on the left hand side you have the default setting and on the right hand side you have the user setting right so here search for python path okay so this uh, python path is by default let's see it's set to python and we want to set this python path to uh, the python executable location so i'm going to just copy this line and inside these uh, curly brackets i'm going to paste this line and instead of this python value i'm going to use the default location where python is installed which is c uh, backslash python backslash uh, 36 right so just copy this path and uh, paste it here and then you will see little bit little error here so instead of uh, backslash you just need to use the forward slash for windows and once again the forward slash and then once again the forward slash and then just write python.exe okay and just save this settings.json uh, file and then you can just close uh, the settings user settings and you can even close this launch.json file okay so once it's uh, closed once again we will try to run our uh, python script using the start debugging option and once you just uh, click on this uh, green button you will see uh, the debugging has been started right so when you just click on this green button it will print hello world on this debug console right and then uh, for example you can just say x 
is equal to for example 9 plus 6 and then also you can say y is equal to uh, 5 uh, plus 9 let's say and then save your code and let's say i just uh, put the breakpoint on the second line and then i'm going to just uh, start debugging once again so once debugging has been started it will start from the first line because in launch.json so let's go to the launch.json and you can see uh, the option for a stop on entry is true so when you just click uh, false here or when you just write false here and save this and once again when we uh, just uh, start the debugging it will uh, just start on the second line right so i'm going to start debugging once again and this time it goes on the breakpoint you can see right and here in the variables you will be able to see the value of x because this line has been executed we can go to the next line and now the value of y is set and when we go on the next line it will print hello world here okay so this is how you can set the python development environment on visual studio code i hope you enjoyed this video please wait come and subscribe and bye for now